bunch of a whole bunch of inspiration and and uh, and um, ambition brought me into the music industry. You know, wanting to um, I'll say this: not not wanting to be successful in the music game brought me in. Actually, what brought me in was trying to make some cool ass mixtapes, and and for just for my neighborhood. And it branched out, and people started taking them outside of where I was, and I, then I started mailing them out to other people, and uh, a couple of my people started walking the dogs with them out of town and bringing them to different areas, and that really branched me out, um, in, and that really broke a door into the music industry, and um, here I am, years later. Please be clear, this is an invasion. An invasion. Turn your radio up loud. The one and only. Green Lantern came from. Basically, I was producing under the name The Green Lantern because I wanted just a crazy ass producer name um, to where you would look at the credits and say, damn, I wonder what that sounds like if, if something says produced by The Green Lantern. Then I fell into DJing um, a couple years after that. And then, okay, so I guess it's DJ Green Lantern then, right? So, and then it just became a conversation piece and, you know, now here we are. Um, let me think, um, today I didn't wear, I didn't bring the, um, my little iPod Nano watch that I like to wear, so that was a decision that I, you know, kind of regret that, but I'm still kind of flossy with my little, my, my, my little wood grain joint, though, I'm getting a lot of comments on this one, but, you know, other than that, no, I don't, I, you know, shit happens in the world, whether it's good or bad, it's, you know, no regrets, keep it moving, that's what it is. One, two, one, two, the Swiss beast the monster. Right about now, I present to you the producer of the year, Green Lantern. That's a great question, man. My best investment ever was a sampler that I bought when I was like 19 years old, because that really changed my life, you know? Um, it allowed me to make music, which then gave me the inspiration to, to go and uh, play music and it just really brought me, it just really changed my life, you know. Bust the rhymes and wait for a beat. I'm at the bottom of the Hot 97 building. Green, bring me my motherfucking drugs. Um, Bust Rhymes featuring Rick James in the ghetto off the Big Bang album. And um, that's because, like, that was actually a record that I was going to have personally for myself. And I sent to Buster for a verse for it. So it was going to be me featuring him. And uh, then he called and was like, I really need this for my album. And, um, you know, that's kind of happened a couple times before. And I was kind of like, oh, not again, you know. So uh, he ended up, because that album was on Aftermath. So he ended up getting Dr. Dre on the phone. And I was like, man, how, how can you, you know. So we worked it out. And, and then Dre ended up co-producing, you know, adding some sounds to the beat. And now I got a song co-produced by Dr. Dre featuring Busta Rhymes and Rick James and it was a video for it and it was like it was just a real fun experience too you know like you know um, that's probably the probably my favorite joint yeah what's up man it's evil genius DJ Greenland and this is an invasion you're now rocking with for my hometown.com shout out to 585 Rochester New York that's my hometown